While Robbie spent some quality time with Lenovo's new Duet Chromebook tablet, uh, I had somewhat of a unique opportunity to take a closer look at their other Chromebook they brought to Las Vegas this week. The Chromebook Flex 5 was officially announced alongside the Duet, but it wasn't technically there on the show floor for hands-on, but thanks to the team at Lenovo, they had one device on hand and they, they let us take a closer look. And I think this is a device you're gonna be really interested in. So let's dive in and take a closer look at the Lenovo Chromebook Flex 5. As we expected, Lenovo's been working on a hatch-based Comet Lake Chromebook, uh, and we thought it might show up at this event, but we weren't holding our breath. Sure enough, they have the Flex 5, and it is a 13.3 inch convertible Comet Lake power device. You can get up to a Core i5, eight gigs of RAM, and 128 gigs of storage if you want. Uh, now this isn't gonna go toe to toe with the Samsung Galaxy Chromebook or the Asus C436, but it's not meant to. And that's why I think this device is going to be very popular in 2020. We're talking a mid-range Chromebook that has very high-end specs that's gonna do just about everything you need. It's convertible, touchscreen, has a good trackpad. It's not glass, but it's good. Uh, the keyboard feels good and the device is thin and it just looks good. It's not clunky and uh, thinking something like an HP Chromebook X360, this could be the $400 to $500 device of 2020 that people really want because as beautiful as the Samsung is and as nice as the Asus is, these are premium $1,000 plus devices and when it comes down to it, the average consumer is not looking to spend that much money and that's where the Lenovo is probably going to thrive. So this device is some plastic, some metal, but it's got a good solid build. It's not too heavy, but it's not ultra light either. It just feels good when you're using it. It's solid, it's a good convertible and 13.3 is a great form factor for people that are on the go. Uh, it doesn't feel crazy clunky if you go into tablet mode with it. The screen's 300 nits, so that's good. Uh, anything that's this premium or $500 range, $400 range should have at least 250 nits, but 300 nits, good brightness. It's got some nice speakers that are actually up firing, so it's kind of like the Pixelbook Go. They're on set on each side of the keyboard and uh, they sound good. They're not quite the quality of the Pixelbook Go, but then again, this device starts at $359, and that's the key to what's gonna make this thing a success. It will have a stylus option. We've seen Lenovo will have a stylus, I believe, that's gonna be available for it. You'll have to buy the whatever configuration has that digitizer in it. But I'd say even with the Core i5, they haven't given us official pricing on the maxed out one, but. I couldn't see it being more than $600 maybe, and that's a significant savings over a thousand plus dollar device, and you're still getting a whole lot of Chromebook for that amount of money. Um, this Core i5 is pushing octanes of 38,000 or more. There's nothing you're not gonna be able to do on it. And I just really feel like Lenovo's hit a home run with this one. Again, we don't have the pricing for the higher end Flex 5. Uh, we just know it's gonna start around the 360 range and even with a i3 or maybe a Pentium processor, $350 for this much Chromebook's really great. Uh, Availability is gonna be around June of this year at some point in time. Uh, we, we will have a review unit coming as soon as they're available and we're looking forward to spending some more time with this. One other big benefit of this and all of the Comet Lake devices that have been launched this week is instead of five or six and a half years of updates, Google is guaranteeing eight to eight and a half years for these devices. So when you're talking $1,200, $1,500 for a high-end Asus or Samsung, you kind of expect that. But when you're looking at $400 for a Core i device with a good amount of RAM and storage, and you're getting eight years of updates, the bang for your buck factor on this device is out of the park and we're really looking forward to see more from Lenovo. They've really nailed it on the head this time. Well, that's it for this one, guys. Uh, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe. That way you'll get notifications every time we have a new video because we'll have a review of this one as soon as we can get our hands on it and a lot more to come in the year of 2020. See ya.